Good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Happy New Year, happy New Year, happy, happy New, New Year. Year. Welcome to Rack City Church Live. We're so glad that you're with us this afternoon. So happy that you've joined us this afternoon. Um, as you are all joining, we're going to wait for some more people to join. My name is Matty Gono. I'm Malika. And, and happy New Year. Happy New Year. We're your <laughs> presenters for today. We are your presenters for today. So today is also the first Sunday of the month. How are you feeling about that? I'm happy. We're three days in already. Can you believe it? I cannot believe it. <laughs> Bless God that it is Sunday already. This is the first Sunday of the month. And that means that there is communion today. But I will remind you um, at the end to get all of your emblems, all the things that you need um, before the service starts. But as you're all coming on, um, invite your families online share 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 via your social medias yep. we're going to be checking who is online with us today how are you feeling about the new year tell us in the comments let we us were, know we what were know. you doing what did you do for new year's well i was at home it wasn't quite long with the family but i was watching uh the service that evening so brilliant. it was good brilliant how about Snap. You? so was i <laughs> i was at home <laughs> Um, and I was also watching the service um, live as well. Everybody should have been at home, really. Yes, I hope you were at home. And also the declaration for the year when it came forth, it was such a powerful, powerful service. If you were online on New Year's Eve, tell us in the comments what the declaration was for the year. Let's get into the comments and see yeah. who's with us. If you take Facebook, I'm going to take um, uh, YouTube okay. and see who's with us today. Okay, Facebook, we want to know where you are tuning in from. We want to know if you are tuning in abroad, if you're international, please let us know. Also, if you are new, type N-E-W, new. We want to welcome you, okay? So yeah, let us know where you're tuning in you. from. If you are joining us live, um, in the service. Okay. Happy New Year, Kendrick. Um, Jojo Heaven from uh, Birmingham is with us this afternoon. I've got Good to have Colleen, you. Colleen Powell on Facebook. Happy New Year. Um, she says, Philip Henry, blessed morning to all and a happy New Year. Cheryl H Hales, happy New Year to you both. Thank you, Cheryl. Brilliant. We've got Bev Grant here as well saying Happy New Year. I've got people putting in the comments what the declaration for the year was oh, as well. They so, were listening. Yes, they were listening. <laughs> they were tuned in. You guys were at home. I've got Bev um, and Samantha saying the year to stand. Honestly, that was such wow. a powerful word. Keep them coming. Keep your comments coming in, guys. I've got Hazel. Um, Happy New Year to all my church family watching from Canada. Brilliant. Welcome, Brilliant. Hazel. I've got um, Lily Brown here from Surrey. Brilliant. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, I, who else you got? I've got um, Jesus Keeps from London as well. Yes, he does. <laughs> he does indeed. I've got Eve, Jesus saying good morning. Kadian um, from Brixton. Nikki from Manchester. New. Brilliant. Brilliant. We're Brilliant. so glad to have yes. you with us. Yes, if you are joining us for the first time, um, please, please, please put the new in the comments. You can say Happy New Year. You're new as well. And, and so that we can also, you know, just welcome you. Welcome all of our online family. Keep your comments coming through, guys. All right, let me see. Yeah, keep your comments say, coming through. Hildia is saying to stand. Yes, that was the word. Yes, the Aubrey year saying, to stand. Oh, Aubrey's from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Amazing. Welcome. Amazing. Um, I've got um, T Tiana here, um, and she is saying Happy New Year from Kilburn. Kilburnites. Um, amazing, amazing. <laughs> We've got Sonia saying um, good morning. I think uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Sonia. Um, we've got Francis saying Happy New Year. Yeah, uh, we've got a lot of people. I've got on here. Um, I've got Charlene here saying Happy New Year to everyone um, as well. Uh, Jesus Keats is saying 2021, the year to stand your ground. Right. Amazing, amazing. Keep your comments coming through, guys. 
and we're going to be doing a few things this morning. Uh, we're going to get into our quiz shortly. But before we get into our quiz, as you can see, I'm here presenting with you again um, today. And uh, we are opening the doors, as you know, for more presenters. So if you feel that you are talented and you are confident or you want to be bold enough in this new year to stand and join the presenter team, please, please, please watch the ad that is going to be coming up soon. Um, and come and join the team, you know. Yes. Train up uh, and, and you'll be able to do what we're doing here today as well. Yes, we can do it, you can do it guys. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. Okay, let's keep it in with the comments. The advert's going to start shortly. Um, just bear with us. Okay, I've got um, JCM saying hello and happy new year family. Okay, I've got Charmaine saying a good afternoon, Rep City Church. Yeah, what, watching from Gravesend. Welcome, Charmaine. Brilliant. Brilliant. I've got Elder Jackie watching. Good afternoon, Elder Hi, Jackie. Hi, Elder Jackie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We've got Rosemary. Um, happy New Year from New York. Amazing. A lot of Americans watching. That's Welcome. really, really good. I've got Rose, Rosie P here saying this is the year to stand. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I've also got um, Stephen here also saying hello, Pete. Happy New Year um, to all the Ruak family. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant. And Anybody else got, on your we side? We've got Charmaine as well saying a Happy New Year. We want to shout out to all the locations as well, don't we? So we yes. want to shout out to the Brixton location, yes. Elder Enid. We've got the Wolverham Soul location, yes. Elder Clinton and Elder Osai. Yes. Um, we've got the Birmingham location, yeah. Elder Simone. Shout yeah. out to everybody in Birmingham. Kilburn, of course, of Co the Penny. And yes. then we've got the Philadelphia location. Yes. Uh, we we do. want to shout Pastor Andre Jones. We give God thanks for all of the locations. Amen. Don't we? Amen. Please continue to tell us where you're tuning in from. We are so excited. It is the first Sunday okay. of the year. Not the month, <laughs> also the month, but the year. We are just so excited to make it. We're getting double as well. We're getting double today, aren't yes. we? Because we've got evening service as well. Yes, we do. We do. We do. It's going to be great, guys. Amazing. <laughs> Keep your comments coming um, coming in as well. I've got Candies here from Brixton. Hello. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Yeah, Keep your comments Jen coming Jennifer, in. Jennifer from Brixton as well saying Happy New Year 2021. I can't believe Amazing. they're here already, right? I know. I know. <laughs> God has been so gracious. He has. Honestly. We've got so much to give God thanks for that. He's kept us through 2020 yes. and we're now here in 2021. Yes. Yes. To God be all the glory. Amen. I've got Ray here saying Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, Ruat family, which is brilliant. And I've got Marita here saying it's the year to stand. So everyone knows now what the word is for this year. But I'm yes. sure we're going to hear more about it. I, I believe we are going to hear more about it. We thank God um, for bringing that word um, over the year. Um, and as I said, guys, if you want to you know, become a presenter, if you want to do what we're doing here right now or make it something new for the new year for yourselves, then, you know, get um, there's going to be information coming up as to how you can do so and how you can join um, the team also. At Rep City Church, we are looking for people to join our team and become a presenter. We will help you craft your skills and you'll be working with an amazing, passionate, super fun team. If you're nervous about what to do, don't worry, we'll show you the ropes. If you're interested, please contact us at admin at rapcitychurch.org. Brilliant. So all the information was there in the ad for you. So Malika, how did you join the team? It's a funny one, you know. I, I told the guys already before that this is right out my comfort zone, but I just decided to get in contact with admin and then someone got in contact with me quite quickly and then I came along and amazing just saw what was going on and now I'm here. It was that simple, guys. That simple. Yeah, brilliant. So th this could be you <laughs> this year. So yeah, get in contact with ad admin and it's as simple as that. Just be bold, be brave. If you know you're talented, skilled, confident, 
you know, just get in touch. I want to use this moment actually to shout out to the media team because they're doing a great job, aren't they? They're doing they? an amazing job. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes and we just want to give God praise for yeah. them. Another program that's going on behind the scenes is the Koinea program. Uh, it's and, an and amazing program. Amazing, such an amazing initiative which has been going on for years. Yeah. The church has been doing so much, especially um, throughout this time during lockdown um, and yes. throughout this whole process as So well. they're reaching, to, reaching out to the needs of the community and yep. being able to give food so if you want to be able to donate or if you're in any need at all um please watch this video and you can see how you could um get in contact Amen. As you can see, I'm um, in our Kanoya Food Bank. We have a food bank in every location. I'm in Brixton location right now. And as you can see, the um, cupboards are getting a bit empty. And so it would be wonderful if you can help us contribute towards this. There are many people who are in need in this season and your contribution helps. Uh, your support is needed as there are people who are in need. And by the way, thank you for those who have been contributing. May the Lord bless you. If you'd like to donate some food to Koinonia or use its services, please contact us at admin at ruraccitychurch.org. Hi guys, it's an amazing advert. Wasn't it great to see what Bishop and the church has been doing at this time? Yeah, so I believe Bishop was out last week giving out food. Yeah. That's amazing. But as he mentioned in the video, the covers are getting a bit dry, guys. So if you're able to donate, please contact yes. the admin. Yeah. Because we can do with whatever contributions you have. And just, just to remind you also that if you are in need, please, please don't feel ashamed. Please contact the office and they'll be there to help you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is what the church is for. It's all about giving um, and also being able to give back to our community. That's it. Brilliant. So we're getting ready to go into I'm excited. Our quiz. I'm excited. You know, <laughs> what I found about the quiz, and, and because obviously I, when I'm at home and I'm watching the service live, what I found about the quiz is that it's really helping me keep up to date with my um, general knowledge of the of the Bible, what's in it, and also reminding me that I need to be looking at the details as well. You know, you can't be skimming the pages. No, you can't. Or skimming, <laughs> like you really, really need to be getting into your word and understanding what's going on, who's whose mum, or you know, the lineage. <laughs> Honestly, it has been amazing, and I think for myself this year, one of the things that I'm really going to delve going to do is just work on my knowledge of the bible not just knowing good. the scriptures but just my general knowledge and i think this has been really helpful so we're yeah. going to get into we, um, the quiz we want you to gather all your family yeah get the kids get them involved yeah. i'm sure they will enjoy it they will love it yeah. gather them around the table stop cooking or whatever you're doing right now <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and get ready for the quiz yeah get involved okay okay let's see so our our, our first question so on what day of creation did God create man? On what day of creation did God create man? What day? What day? Guys, get in the comments, put your answers in the comments, like we usually do, Facebook, let us know what the answers are. We're gonna give you a couple of minutes just to, to get involved. Um, we're giving points, all right? Yeah, we're definitely giving points. And we always say double points for good spelling. Oh yes, double points for good spelling. <laughs> And we want you to tally up your points and let us know who's winning in your household, okay? Yes. We want to know. We want to get all up in your business and we okay. want to know who's winning. Right, so let's ha just have a look in the comments. What's the answer? What answer? Ooh, okay, so I've got Margaret here saying 6th 
Day. Day. Okay. I've got Janet saying six. I've got Z saying day six. Okay. Hildia saying six day. Marita, six day. Yeah, I've got um, Jojo saying um, six. Um, I've got um, Tamba saying um, seventh day. Mm. Okay. I've got Kendrick here saying on the sixth day. Um, and Samantha's actually said something very key, key here. She said, no Google Assist, yeah? <laughs> no Google Assist, guys. Don't lie to yourself. We cancel Google yeah? for a minute. Yeah, cancel Google <laughs> for a minute. If, and if you, don't, if you don't know, like, note down the question and write it down, like, in a notebook, so that you can go back to it and remember these things. Okay, yep. so we, I've got a lot of people saying the, the, the sixth day. I've got Maria here yep. saying sixth day. I've got Grace saying sixth day. Day, Rosemary saying sick day. Okay. I think there's a general consensus on this one. I think so too. Yeah. So let's go to the answer. And yes, um, at majority are correct. It was the sixth day. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Well done, well done. guys. Okay, are we ready for the next question? What was the name of Adam's third son? Okay. Now everyone knows number one and two, right? Yes. Cain and Abel. Yes. <laughs> I think the third one might get a bit lost sometimes. Yeah. Let's see. Of... Let's see who knows the answer. Yeah, let's see who knows. Let's see who knows the answer. Come on, guys, get in the comments. What was the name of Adam's third son? Third son. Yes. Come on, had Facebook. Three sons. Some clever people on here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm really impressed. Seth. She says Seth. Anybody else? I've got um, Doppers here who says Seth. Okay, sounds on the right track. Anybody else on Facebook? What was the name of Adam's third son? I've got. Did um, you know he had a third son, furthermore? Do you Let know? Us know. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna answer that. But like I said, you know, this has really been helping me with my general knowledge. And if you don't know the answers, guys, please write the question down and then just write the answer afterwards, and then you can work on your own knowledge. So let's get into these comments. I've got Pauline here who is saying Seth. I've also got Susan here on Facebook yeah. who is saying Seth. I've got Margaret saying um, Seth as well. Okay, I've got Ooh. Marita saying Seth, Pauline saying Seth, Z saying Seth, Greg yeah. saying Seth, Rosemary saying Seth, Carly saying Seth. Brilliant. A lot of Seths going on here. I think you guys have hit the nail on the head. Yes. And the answer is? Let's see. Seth. Brilliant. Well done, Brilliant. guys. Yeah, I really do like this. Please, also in the comments, let us know if you really enjoy these quizzes. Um, you know, because I... You know, or if you want them harder, right? Yeah. If you, feel like, if you feel like the level is too easy, also tell us in the comments. But let me get on to the next question. So the next question is, what was the first of the Ten Commandments? What was the first of the Ten Commandments? This is a good one, isn't it? Yeah, it is a good one. Should we yeah, we should all know our Ten Commandments, you know? But do we know them in order? That's the thing. Exactly. I think that's the key to success here. So I'm, I'm hoping you guys know that in order. Get into the comments. Tell me your answers. Share your answers with us. Share your answers with us. There is no wrong answers. We're here to learn and to teach each other. Pauline's well, got clap hands. I guess she done well on the last question. Oh, then. brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, let's get into these comments. Let us know. Okay, Jennifer says, thou shall not kill. Okay, Jennifer. Okay, okay. Okay. Anybody else on Facebook? What was the first of the ten first commandments? First of the ten commandments. Come not, on, Not guys. the ones you remember, guys. Yeah, Jojo has said, thou shall not kill. Okay. The first, that, the, right, the first one that was listed, right? Yeah, the first one that was listed. Okay, I've got um, Nicole here who is saying, love your neighbor. Um, I've got Caroline saying, thou shall love um the lord thy god okay should we find out the answer yeah let's find out the answer so the answer guys you shall have no other gods before me that's the very first that's the most important one isn't it yeah that's the very first one yeah so you shall have no other gods before me right okay next question who was the mother of samuel who was, Who was the mother, mother of Samuel? Of Samuel. So, guys, let us know what Get you think. Get into the comments. Let us know. Who Come was on. the mother of Samuel? Who was the mother of Samuel? I think right. everyone knows who Samuel is, but knowing who the mother was mother. might be a bit more yeah. tricky, right? 
Okay, who was the mother of Samuel? Let's see in the comments. Who have you got on uh, YouTube? Let's see what Ooh, you guys so are I've saying. So I've got Minister Sharon saying Hannah. Okay. Yeah, I've got Minister Sharon saying I've um, got Janet Hannah. saying Hannah. I've got um, Jennifer saying Hannah. Kel saying Hannah. Marita saying Hannah. Yeah. Z saying Hannah. I've got PM Noble saying Hannah. I've got um, Susan again saying Hannah. I've got um, Docker saying Hannah. I've got Jojo saying Hannah. Guys, get involved. I've got um, who else do I have here? I've got Elise saying Hannah as well. Yeah, Philip here saying Hannah. Grace is saying Hannah. Brilliant. You guys are doing well. Yeah, Margaret saying Hannah. Okay, so what's the answer? Tell us the answer. Come on, tell us the answer. It's Hannah. Brilliant. Well <laughs> done to all you who answered correctly. Well done. Okay, so let's get into our next question. What is the last word in the Old Testament? What's the wow. last word? Okay. Are you supposed to know that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, like I said, this do it just take participating in this quiz has just <laughs> made me sharper, you know, my knowledge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what was the last word the last in the old testament? Word, All right, guys. let's get into these comments. Let's I see think, who knows think, the last word. I think if they know, double points though. Okay, and anyone right. who says the last word is God's word, <laughs> that's <laughs> Okay, that's what is the actual last word? That's what we want to know. The last word, and you, you're going to get double point, points, guys, because I think this one's a bit more. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit complex. Yeah, let's okay. see what so you guys. A lot say. of people. <laughs> okay, I've got Renny here saying amen. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jojo um, saying amen. Um, I've got quite poor Pauline saying amen. I've got Z saying curse. I've got Marlette. Oh, she's just saying Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy Marlette. New Year. <laughs> uh, I've got Philip saying Jesus. Okay. okay. Brilliant. Guys, Brilliant. anything else? So, should we get the answer? What was the answer? The answer is curse. Curse. That's wow. the last Did you know that? word. I, I do you know, know what? I'll be honest. Before this. Let me confess. It's a new year. Let me confess. Before this quiz, I did not know that. Yeah. So yeah, we've learned something today. That's I, good. I have. I have. And I'm, I'm okay with that. That's what I need to say. Okay. So let's get into the next question. What's the next question? Okay. The next question is: In what language was the Old Testament written? Now. We must know this because Bishop talks about it all the time, yes. right? Anytime yeah. he preaches, he talks about it, guys. Yep. So what in what language was the Old Testament written? What language? Let us know. Right, let's get into these comments. You guys are doing really well. Thank they you are. for all of you who are participating and all of you who are taking part in this quiz because you know what, you're blessing someone, especially those of us who didn't know the correct answer, you're, you're helping <laughs> us. So yeah, thank you so much for taking part. So I've got um, Renny here saying Hebrews. Um, I've got Susan saying Hebrew. Um, I've got um, Shirley saying Hebrew. Okay, I also have Z saying Hebrew, yeah. Cheryl saying Hebrew, Gray saying Hebrew, Elaine saying Hebrew. Brilliant. A lot of Hebrews. A lot of a lot of people saying Hebrew. I've got Barbara yeah. here also saying Hebrew. So the correct answer is drum roll. Hebrew. Hebrew. Well done, you guys. Really, you, you know it. You know you've you been know listening. The word. They've been listening to Bishop. They have. Been. Yeah, they've been listening to Bishop <laughs> and getting into their word. Well done. Okay, well done, so guys. let's go into the. Um, we've got a few more questions. So the next question is, what relation was Jacob to Abraham? What relation was Jacob to Abraham? Okay, mm. what relation? Yeah, this one's this, this one's, one's an interesting one. This is, I mean, these this are the type of questions one. that I read. You know, they're really the helpful you, okay. when they because then you're kind of you're you're joining. Okay, who's who's grand grandmother grand? Yeah, you know all those whose brother sister. But we can miss it sometimes. We do miss it because we, we do just, miss it. We kind and of I miss out these, that part. These things help with our understanding as well yeah. of the word and things like that. Okay, so okay. comments. Let's get into the comments. Ooh, Ooh, okay. What, what are people Charmaine saying? says grandson. Elaine says son. Okay. Janet says grandson. Jennifer says his grandson. Okay. Ray says son. So there's a mixed bag here between son and grandson. Okay. I've got some people. Susan saying nephew. I've got Jojo saying grandson. Okay. So let's give them the right what's, answer. What's the, the correct answer? answer is 
correct answer. Grandson. Grandson. Amazing, amazing right. to all of you who got it correct. So we've got a couple more questions here for you. Let's roll on to okay. the next one. Which tribe of Israel looked after the religious aspects of life? Mm. Which tribe? You want to know which tribe? There's 12 which, tribes, right? Yeah. So which which tribe? Which tribe? Know. Okay, this guys. This is an interesting one. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I think this is a... Let's see what the answers are saying. <laughs> Let's get into the comments and see what people are saying. Okay. Come on, Facebook. Which tribe? Come on, YouTube. I, I said that we could have worded it a bit different earlier, but you said it would have been too easy, oh, right? I think it would have been too easy. Way too easy. Okay. Way yeah. too easy. Oh, okay. So we've got um, Janet saying Levites. We've got Hildia saying Judah. Jennifer saying Judah. Okay. Marita saying Levites. Brilliant. Yeah. I've got Michael um, saying Levi's. Um, I've got um, I've got a lot of people here. Everybody say Levi's. Okay, yeah. should we find out the answer? Yeah, I think we need to find out the answer. Levi. So if you said Levi, it's the same thing. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant. guys, you've done great. Honestly, you guys have so done quick, so, so quick. <laughs> Honestly, that is our last question. And that was quite fun, wasn't it? That was so I hope that so you guys fun. have learned something. Now, as you all know, like I mentioned at the beginning, today is the first Sunday, not just of the year, but of the month. Yep. Yep. So what does that um, mean? So it means... Holy Communion. Holy Communion. We're going to have Communion. So please get your bread, get your, your wine or your wine whatever you're using um you know at, at this time get it ready um just as the service is starting so that you can participate in taking part in communion today you guys it's been such a a, a, a great time this Absolutely. morning and we're going to be back here we are yeah we're going to do dive. a deep dive into the word we're going to talk about what we've learned what we've taken from it so please bear with us stay tuned and please share 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 continue to share let your loved ones know that we're online and church has started.
Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. God bless you. Uh, we made it. First Sunday in 2021. in 2021. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. So love ye the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life and atonement for sin and open the life gates that all may go in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Come on, sing it at home. Praise yeah. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Come join me with me. Oh, come through the Father, through Jesus, the Son, and give him the glory. Great things he has done. I didn't harmonize quite good there. I'm sorry. Doing that. Oh, okay. Praise the, the Lord. Key was completely it, wrong. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we so praise the Lord we're anyway. Glad Amen. to see you all. Amen. I keep saying seeing you. Glad that you've tuned in today on Rack City Church. Amen. It's our first Sunday, Super Sunday Miracle Healing Service. Yes. We're gonna have church tonight yes. and then we have communion later on. I just want to give a big shout out. Let me see who was the first um on YouTube today. The very very, very um I think it was um uh, 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 what, oh no i'm seeing well i don't know who's the first because obviously it's been going 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 but let me just say yeah, a shout really. out to patricia brown elizabeth i'm um, out there phyllis moore god bless you happy new year um wayne reed k on out there jesus keeps happy new year good to see you um uh, uh it's just um um, Elder, oh gosh, this thing is going fast. It's uh, <laughs> a lot of lot of hellos today and happy new year. It's wonderful. Let me give a big shout out to all who are watching us. You know what we do every time when we get on board. It's called evangelism. It's called time to share. Somebody say time to share. And so what I want you to do, if you're following us on YouTube, we need you to subscribe, okay? Go ahead. There's a button that says subscribe. If you press it, that means you will get alert every time we're on. Okay, so we want you to subscribe to the Rec City channel. The second thing I want you to do is copy and paste. There's a part you can copy and paste and send this, uh, what you call, um, program to everybody. It should send it through WhatsApp, whatever way you want to send it. And then uh, those of you who are watching us on Facebook, guess what I want you to do? Follow us, okay? Follow us as we follow Christ. And then secondly, the next thing I want you to do is to have what you call a watch party. That means invite everybody who's on your list, all your friends, and invite them to have worship with us today. God bless you. I am so excited uh, for today and what God is getting ready to do. How many people on Facebook? So give me a shout out to some people on Facebook. I've got Ola Funky here. She's yeah. in Benin at the moment. Benin. Oh, God and bless you. Helen, Adesina, Pauline Richards, Joe Marshall Fraser, um, Camila B. Pat. Um, everyone's saying Happy New Year. Reni, I Lord. see Reni um, Ngozi. Um, I see um, Maria Lake. God bless you. I see Sharon McCullough. God bless you. I see Nadine. God bless you. Happy New Year. I see Bimbo. Happy New Year. Patricia Lewis. Um, Goodridge. Happy New Year. God bless you. Let me just give a Grace Campbell. And all Grace the Campbell Chandler. family. God bless you. Yeah. Let me just say to all of our uh, locations, we'll give a big shout out to the Brixton location. As you know, I'm in Brixton right now. Um, and to Elder Enid, Enid, God bless you, Stuart, God bless you. We had a wonderful prayer this morning. She led good. Um, also to Elder uh, Simone from Birmingham location and Lanray Olagoki, God bless you. To Elder Clinton and Janet and Ose and uh, Mama Ose from the Walthamstow location, God bless you. And from those in the Kilburn location with Pastor Penny, yours truly, yes. God bless you. And for those in Philadelphia, um, Elder Andre, uh, Pastor Andre uh, and, Rachel. And, and Rachel, they're beautiful. Oh, gosh. And the Philadelphia Bridging. God bless you. And to all the Ruat Network of Churches, all of you that are under my covering, all of you friends, even if you're not under my covering and you just love our ministry, thank you for tuning in today. we got a whole lot to do today. Today is communion, and we're going to be worshiping the Lord together uh, with us. So we want you to all get your crackers, if it's crackers or bread or stuff. Try and get something together, all right? Hurry up, because we're getting ready to do communion. And um, the Bible says, as often as we do it, we do show the Lord's definitely come. We're That's getting right. ready this month to go into our fasting. Come Monday is yep. the beginning of our 21 days fasting, and we're going to be opening up our locations 
uh, one of our locations every uh, for the month that people can come in and pray. And we're one, one day, one, one day, one day. We'll give At you that location. location. And so we're going to open up and do that. And then we're hoping very soon to get back into our church. Uh, please bear with us. We want to do things right. And um, uh, and uh, I know some of you, you know, if you're for us, you'll stay at home. You know, if this is your place, you'll stay. I don't care what's going on. I don't mind you visiting someone else, but when you finish visiting, come back home, okay? All right. And if anybody else, anybody else you want to? Oh, um, I've got quite a few. Marie um, Kawasi. Yeah. Um, I've got um, MG Steel in yeah. the USA. Wow. Um, um, Savannah, Georgia. And I've also got um, Angela Davis and also Joyce Lake, uh, Jean Swaby, Leanna Pert. Well, June Coolin, I've got DMH, I don't know, from Scotland. Tamba is in the house. Charles is there in the house. Um, I see Claudia Henry. Gosh, this is going. Kendricks, Rose Edwards, Adelaide McKenzie, Susie Queenie, um, and Elder Ann Dugo. God bless you. Just to all of, oh my gosh, Sharon Power, to all of you wonderful people, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in uh, to the service today. We're getting ready to go on because our time is going to be against oh, us. And we're Dubai. Oh, where's Dubai? Oh, yeah, we got members in Dubai. Jahan, Scott's yeah. in Dubai. All right, Dubai. Oh, there's something we're getting to cooking. We're going to start a little prayer meeting and thing in Dubai because I've got members out there and we've got to look after our members. Anyway, I, I'm talking uh, before Steve time. Barnes in Washington, Maryland. Yes. USA. So yes. We've got, we know you're tuning on from all over the world. Thank you. So welcome, welcome to the first Sunday in 2021. Amen. We're excited to have you. We're with excited. Us. All right, let's pray. Should we pray? Yeah. Father, we just thank you for allowing us to be online, Lord. The enemy would try his best to stop the church but we thank you the church lord is not a building lord you have made us understand in 2020 that the church lord is us and you have moved the church lord from out of the building back into the homes like the new testament church had started lord and we thank you for that we know it's temporary but we thank you for those that have kept their faith for those that have been consistent every sunday watching uh, hearing the word of the Lord. We ask right now in Jesus' name that your power will move today like never before. Let people's life be changed. Let burdens be removed. Let yokes be destroyed. We thank you again in the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. Let everybody type, amen, amen, amen. amen. That means amen. so, let it be. Praise God. We're getting ready to do our communion. Hopefully, you should have got the bread, the crackers, the... Um, Rye bean, if you don't have rye bean, if you've got wine, you can, or water. or water, whatever you can. Listen, this is done in remembrance of him. We are told as often as you do it, you do it in, the, in remembrance of the Lord. And as the beginning of the year, it's important to really do communion. You know why? Because when we do communion, we bring healing to the body. Miracles can happen because, you know, it's because of his death. We got healing. We got salvation. Hallelujah. Praise God. You're going to read the scripture for us? Okay. Hallelujah. And um, so first, um, chapter 11, reading from verse 23. And it says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, yes. that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Yes. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Yes. And after the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Hallelujah. Amen. The blood of Jesus was shed for me way back on Calvary. It is the blood that give me strength from day to day, it will never lose its power. The same night which he was betrayed, he took bread. When he had broken it, said, this is my body that was broken for you. As often as you eat, you do show the Lord's death till he come. If you have a wafer, if it's a cracker, if it's a bread, whatever it is, it represents the body of Jesus Christ, eat ye all of it. Hallelujah. And the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the cup. And when he had supped, 
It said, this is the New Testament, new agreement in my blood. As often as you drink, you're going to show the Lord's death till he come. Drink, whether it's water, wine, whatever you have, fruit juice, it's in remembrance of his blood in Jesus' name. Drink you all of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We would sing in church if we were in church. We sing, just for me, just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. Just for me, just for me. Oh, Jesus came and did it just for me. And the verse goes, so the blood will always represent the love Christ had for me. When the Lord of glory heaven sent, gave all on Calvary just for me, just for me. Oh, Jesus came and did it just for me. Hallelujah. And you're grateful that he died on Calvary for you. We praise you, Lord. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Clap your hands wherever you are and give the Lord a praise. He's worthy of the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I'm so glad that I could take communion. On this first Sunday. First Sunday of 2021. Yeah. Amen. The year to stand. Amen. So we're excited about that. All right. We're getting in the time of worship. And this is what I want you all to do. I really ought to just turn your homes into a place of worship. Wherever God is, wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I want you to open up your voices. I want you to just lift up your hands in the presence of the Lord. And um, straight after worship, I'm actually going to preach to you live um, uh, today, so uh, it's, it's going to be right now, and um, uh, no first takes and second takes. It's going to be just as it is of the press. So what I'm going to ask you all to do is just prepare yourself for worship. Hallelujah. As we glorify the Lord, uh, we have had one of our media team brother that's gone down in, uh, 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 under the weather, and we're praying for him. So we, I just want to thank my media teams. We've been having warfare, but guess what? We're winning. Hallelujah. Amen. We've got the victory. Are you ready for worship? Uh, we are, God is sovereign and he is in control. Let me tell you something. The, the, the pandemic is not in control. COVID-19 is not in control. Let me hear, let me, let me hear you. Let me tell you, sorry. Let me tell you this. And I want you to hear this. The pandemic is not in control. God is in control. Is in control. And we're going to worship the Lord. It's a new song, and I love it very much. And God is in control. Let's worship the Lord together. Amen. Get your tambourines out, Sister Janet. Hallelujah. <laughs> Get your tambourine out, brother. Get your tambourine out. Start clapping your hands. Let's worship the Lord together. Amen. God is in control. Praise and worship come to us right now in Jesus' name.
you see He's in control oh, 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 oh. Hey. He's in control oh, 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 oh. Come on, I need you to decree over your life He's in control Over your situation, even at home, in spite of a pandemic season, he's in control. God, we trust you. God, we believe you. You're in control. Hey, you're in control. Hey, you're in control. You're in control. We trust you. We don't look at our government. We trust you. You're in control. We trust you. You're in control. We trust you. You're in control. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Control. He's in control. God has the final say. I said, God has the final say. I can't even agree. God has the final say. He's in control. Hallelujah. God has the final say. God really has the final say. Um, those of you that were watching us on our crossover service, some call it New Year's and some call it Watch Night. Uh, I explained to you that I had an encounter with God. The first one I had was in 2019 and the Lord very clearly spoke to me and said um, to prepare, prepare, prepare. And I didn't understand uh, that we were gonna enter one of the global uh, uh, devastation called this pandemic. Um, and then later on uh, this year, well, last year, because we're in 2021, I had another encounter and I'm going to be very honest. I was very scared. I came out of it very shaken because whenever God gives a word and he, it was, in fact, it wasn't just a word, it was a command. And the word was basically to tell my people in this season, 21, it's going to be a very difficult year. And I thought, oh God, no. He said, but tell them to stand. He said, stand. He told me to tell the God's people to stand still as well and see the salvation of the Lord. And when we hear the word, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, it simply means that God is gonna deliver. But the prerequisite for deliverance is that you are able to stand. And so um, we have declared this year, uh, the year 2021, the year to stand. So I'm gonna be speaking, and um, our focus scripture that's gonna be for this month is uh, a familiar, passages of scripture from Ephesians chapter 6 and I'm going to be reading from verse number 10 and um, if you got your Bibles because today I don't think we're going to have all the scriptures on the screen like before so you have to do this manually with me it says here finally verse number 10 of Ephesians 6 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil he said for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against uh, powers against rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness oh my gosh in high places then it says verse 13 wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god ah, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil days and having done all to Stand. I want to read Ephesians again from the Amplified Version. It says, put on the full armor of God, for his precepts are like a splendor armor of heavy armed soldier. I like that. Precept speaks of the word of God. So that you may able to successfully stand. So without the word of God, you will not be able to successfully stand against the schemes. Look how he puts it. And the strategies, oh, you got to get this, and the deceits of the devils. So that means this year we got to look out that Satan is going to uh, strategically do things to get our attention, to get us to move from what God has said. But he says you want to stand with the whole armor, the whole protection of God's uh, precepts, God's word. Somebody type stand. 
Ah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now as I'm about to speak. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable. Give us a word that will change life, that burdens be removed, yokes be destroyed. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, son of the living God, somebody type amen. And you can shout amen. My subject is, guess what? 2020, the year to stand. Um, we have just entered into the year 2021. And 2020, for some of us, was a year uh, of joy. And, and for others, it was pain. Uh, we saw people getting married, babies being born, people getting new jobs, people being promoted. Uh, new business was, had been started, new books, um, even in our church, written and list. The list goes on. Uh, but for others, it was very painful, yeah. We had experienced the worst worldwide pandemic, which has changed the world forever. Yes, it's changed us forever. And some lost families, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, friends, cousins, nieces, nephews. Some lost jobs, lost even their homes, etc. And the list goes on. However, some uh, have seen hope for the future because scientists have as we know, has developed a new vaccine to counteract the COVID-19. Uh, however, others are suspicious, uh, especially us black folks. We're suspicious because of all the different conspiracy theories that are out there. And while the world is in turmoil, beloved brethren, and confused, I believe, I sincerely believe, it is time for the church not to fall apart, it is time for us to be, to be in a position where we are standing. And when I'm talking about standing, I'm talking about standing strong. I'm talking about standing on God's word. Somebody type in the chat, this is our season to stand. In biblical pneumology, those of you that were um, was watching us on the New Year's service, Pastor Penny gave us uh, incredible documentation about the number 21 um, but for some of you that are tuning in today the number 21 represents as i told you uh on watch night or new year's eve adulthood i remember when i was 21 my mom gave me a ring uh she said and she did it for all of us when we got to 21 we were given a ring and then we were given a card uh, i don't know if you had that with a key on it and the key 21 represents you having the authority as an adult to go in and out. Well, that didn't quite happen in my home. <laughs> Even though I was given the key, I had to still come back certain times. You know, we black folks were brought up. Um, but uh, we were given this key. And, and one of the things I was looking up, um, 21, when you look at 21, it's the one time that it gives you a certain of authority in the country. Um, as uh, you can have a, a license, you can have a pilot's license at 21. 21, um, uh, there are certain powers that uh, are now invested in you, responsibility. So when we look at 21, we have to think of people who have to be responsible this year. People who are not walking as children, but walking in a season of being an adult. Um, it also represents warfare. Pastor Penny told us sin, distress, and the end of distress. So. Don't, don't panic. It is representing distress, but also somewhere we are going to experience what we call the end of dis distress. Um, it also reminds us of God's strength and his open hand that comes with his grace. So when we hear the word open hand, it's symbolic of help and blessing and provision. So I want to decree and declare over your life that this year, in spite of all what's going to happen, if you stand, God's hands will be open. Open speaks about hand of blessing, hands of, of, of help, hands, watch this, of provision. So that means no matter what happens, God will provide. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor recede begging for bread. Somebody type, I will have an hand open up to me in 2021. That means God's going to open up his hands towards me. Now, in order to stand firm this year, while we all um, have seen the activities that have happened uh, around us and we've had to hold on to God's word, 
I wrote in my Instagram, and those of you that follow me on Instagram, but by the way, if you haven't, you need to follow me. I'm Bishop J. Francis on Instagram. I wrote in my Instagram post last week that every crisis represents to us a new opportunity. Okay? I want you to understand, whatever we're dealing with, we're still in a place of opportunities. So go with the flow. Dive into the waves as scary as it may seem. And remember, nothing in life is easy. God is on our side. Oh, my God. I tell you that God is on our side. Praise and worship saying God is in control. He's in control and he is on our side. So I want you to start from now. This is what I said on my Instagram. Start brainstorming ideas. This is the time to let your mind open up. The possibilities, expand your mind, open your thinking to find new solutions to problems. Wherever there is a problem, God made us to solve problems. And when you see potential options, you, you will stop. Because some of you have felt stuck in 2020, uh, 20, but this is the season you will not be stuck. Standing doesn't mean you're stuck. Standing means you're in position. We're going to talk about that a little while. This is not about, watch this, deciding on one thing or making all the right choices. Sometimes you can make wrong thing, decisions, that's not a problem. It's about allowing your creative mind to expand and see all the potentials and possibilities that is waiting for you in this year, 2021. So I want you to understand, this is the season that God is going to allow certain things to be presented to you, not to traumatize you, but to open up your capacity to think, to open up your mind, that you will find solutions to every problem. Somebody shout amen. And so I believe it is our time to position ourselves to stand up, stand firm, stand strong, stand against, and stand still, and watch God do it. Woo! Somebody better type that right now. Say, watch God do it. Watch God do it. Watch God do it. Come on, watch God do it. I don't care what the devil says. I don't care what the circumstances look like. You, you are from another kingdom, hear me? You do not belong to this kingdom. You are a citizen of another kingdom. So whatever's happening in this kingdom does not affect you. The Bible says, be not, in, you're in the world. This is what the Bible says, but you're not of the world, okay? You're here, but you're from another kingdom. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. So I was thinking about this word and the word that the Lord said to me, he said, tell my people to stand. Somebody type there, I'm going to stand. So it's stand, stand. The word stand means to have, watch this, or maintain an upright position supported by one's feet. That's what the dictionary says. Um, so you are supported, you're in an upright position supported by your feet. Um, I was in prayer this morning with our elders and ministers and Elder Enid spoke so powerfully and she was telling us that uh, the way our feet has been created, that it has shock absorbers in it. Um, it means that anytime something happens to us, our feet has the ability to take the brunt, to take uh, the challenge of what the whole body is going through. Woo! So I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, in this year of standing, God is giving you, watch this, spiritual shock absorbers. Things that were supposed to knock you out, throw you down, mess you up. I decree and declare, uh, God is going to be your support system as you stand. Because you know what? You're not going to stand in your strength. You're standing in the strength of the Lord. All right, I, I'm talking too much. All right, let's look at this word. So the word stand there, um, the noun is an attitude. When you use the word stand, it's an attitude towards a particular issue. It's a position taken in an argument holding on to a particular point of view. So for a you remember when somebody uh, basically is taking a stand for what they believe and what they think is right, their point of view, that's another terminology for stand. So one of the things I want you to keep in your mind when we're talking about the word standing, the year to stand, is that basically what God has spoken to you, you are not going to allow anyone to put you off track. I have my point of view. I have my belief system. I have what God said to me, and I am not moving from what 
he has told me. Somebody type, this is my year to stand. Now, now I want to go to the Greek, and then we're going to go further. Uh, the, the biblical interpretation from the Greek is this word here is histemi in the Greek, and that's the word for stand. It means to abide. Watch this, powerful word. It means to appoint. It means to bring. These are, these are, you see, English words are kind of flat, and our problem with our English language, it just has one flat meaning. But in, when you um, look at the Greek words, and which really some of our English words come out of Greek and Latin, you will notice that it, it, it brings us a, a, a different dimension of understanding of what the word means when it means to stand. Listen to what it says. It means to abide. That speaks of residency. That means I am not moving from pillar to post. This is the year that God wants us to be stable. Okay? You don't run up and down from church to church, from people to people, from prophet to prophets. Mm -hmm. And people who got a word for you. You learn to be stable. Abide means I am stable. I am a, watch this. It says abide, appoint. It means bring. It means to continue. Look how that word works. Continue. That means to what you started to do, continue. Don't allow anyone and anything to put you off. And the word covenant is brought there. Establishment. All oh, these are powerful words. Hold up, lay, present, uh, start, and it means to stand. So this is powerful words that's linked with that word. So when you hear the word stand, you can't just think, of, well, you know, I'm just staying in one place. No, 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 no. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. It's God saying, I'm trying to give you a different mind where you're no longer unstable, but you're secure and standing in what I have told you. Somebody shout amen. All right. Now, research has shown us that the brain uses precise information about head movements, watch this, and orientation to control walking directions and balance. So our head is very powerful, and they, they tell us in research, okay, that there's a lot of things that helps us to be able to stand. I wanna show you our skeleton, uh, where our framework, which is our bones, uh, is built with two legs containing lockable knee joints and an upright spine, watch this, providing a column of support, bearing the weight of the head, the neck, and the body, allowing us to maintain an upright position. So I want you to understand that all of our framework helps us to stand, to be in an upright position, okay? Now, balance is, however, due to a lot more than our bones, okay? Because you can stand, but you know there's something about balance. I'm going to get you to do some stuff at home today, so I hope you're really connecting with me. Okay, so here's what they tell you. Your eyes, your ears, your brain, your spinal cord, your heart, and your mind all works together to help you stand. All of this, you got to think about when we're talking about stand, it's a combination of what you see, is what you hear, watch this, what you think, your brain, your spinal cord, the message from your brain to your body, your heart, wow, oh my gosh, your muscles, all of this work together to allow you to stand. Now, this is natural. This is natural. Okay, let's, let's break this down. I, I, I got this information. It just blessed me. It says your eyes are essential for balance. Our eyes help us to stay upright by seeing what's around us. So when we open up our eyes, it helps us to find out where we are in terms of position when we stand. Now, you can test this by spinning around for 30 seconds with your eyes wide open. Go on, I dare you. Go on, go at home. Spin around, spin around, 30 seconds. <laughs> You're like saying, oh, Bishop, I didn't think you were gonna do something like this. Go on, yeah? Okay, all right? Now close your eyes again, all right? Spin around, stop, hope you stop. Now close your eyes again, spin again. And it will know, and, and, and this is what will happen. It will take you longer when you finish, hopefully. Spin, stop now. It will take you longer to find your position. It, everything's moving around you. And, 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 and because uh, there is in your ear, this is why you've got to understand, in your ear contains uh, a system that deals with your balance. It's called a vest. Uh, tibular system and it helps with your balance as you move 
I'm told there are fluids that move around in your head that's activing, acti actually activating your nerves, all your nervous system, and telling your muscles how to keep you upright. So I know it's a whole lot of stuff, but when you get this, because it excites me, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's happening that's causing you to stand. So you just think you're standing just by getting up and then, you know, it's all of my, my bones oh, and it's my muscles. No, your head has a whole lot to do. Yeah. Your ears has a whole lot to do with how you stand. I, I don't know if you remember um, when we were growing up, sometimes uh, we found ourselves as kids or even as grown up uh, feeling a bit dizzy. And then we go, went to the doctors. I remember one time I went to the doctors and um, they, you know, back in those days, they take, take, test your, your tongue, open up your tongue and they get this kind of thing and put in your ears and they look in your ears and, and you're like, gosh, man, I'm just feeling sick and dizzy. And, and they were saying to you, your problem is you have an ear infection. <laughs> I, I don't know if I could preach this today. You have an ear infection. And they said, we have to clear the air infection because it's affecting the way you balance. It's affecting the way, oh God, you walk. And so I want to just say something before I get even further. That's why this is the season, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. you got to be careful of what you hear. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, not only what you hear, but what you see, all of these things will affect how you stand. I've had to literally tell some folks who've been sending me all kinds of stuff about COVID and all kinds of conspiracy. I says, excuse me, please. Will you stop sending me some of these things? I don't need. Now, now you might think you're educating me, but at the time, I don't need to hear what people are saying. I need to hear what God is saying. You got to hear what God is saying because there's a lot that's going to happen in this year that what people are saying that's going to affect how you hear and affect how you balance yourself, how you walk through this situation that we're in called COVID-19, this pandemic. Because mm. what the enemy wants to do is make you walk in the spirit of fear. You got to be careful of what you hear. Faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God. And you got to be careful that what you hear is, uh, uh, is not a, a negative uh, uh, demonic uh, thing that will bring you to a place of fear. Because one of the first things that happen when you're in a warfare is that the enemy uses the spirit of fear to bring us to a place where we are scared and terrified. And we look at our future like going to be a disaster. But I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you're going to stand when everybody else falls. You're going to stand upon God's word. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, type hallelujah. Okay, so they talk about this, your, your eyes, your ears. Then they, they told me that the heart is also important for you to stand. Yeah, with the heart, man, believe it. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Your heart is important. When you stand up, gravity, this is what they say, causes the blood, yeah, to pool in our legs, dropping our blood pressure, okay? Or say, you, you, uh, you would understand what I'm talking about. Co uh, uh, dropping our blood pressure, perhaps causing us to faint. Just as a barometer, they said, uh, that measures air pressure, we have a barometer that dictates uh, that actually detects the drop of blood pressure near our heart okay and they act quickly to uh uh to to uh, to, to, to bring us into a place where we find ourselves and our heart making the right beat so that we can stand strong the next thing they told us is is, is about our muscles our muscles i want to, to do this our muscles okay and, 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 you know, uh, contracts, all of this helps us to stand, in the legs, upon standing, pushing our blood back to the heart and brain, preventing us from fainting. So all of these activities are happening. There are pressures, detectors, again, within the muscles, sensing movement of muscles and tension and tendons. So there's a whole bunch of things going on in my body. 
And I used to just think, you know, okay, all it is my bones and my muscles. No, there's a combination of information, oh God, that's going from the brain uh, to the air, uh, sending message down my spine, telling my bones how to balance itself, bringing me to a place where, guess what? I am stable and I'm able to stand. Woo! Now, that was my introduction. Now I'm going to preach. You know, my preach ain't long. It's just my introduction that takes a while. Ephesians chapter 6 says, Now, finally, oh, finally, at the end of the day, my brethren, be strong. Watch this. Yeah, be strong. That means allow God's power, okay, to move in your life. Be strong in the Lord. Watch this. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong and process. Uh, another version says, of the power of God. The power, and that word power is different here, is katros. It means vigor. It means figuratively dominion. Be strong in the dominion that's been given to you. In the sphere that's been allocated to you. The complete work of God. This is what it says. In the power of his might. Be strong. In other words, what God wants you to be in this season is to be a play in a place where you're stable and you are strong and you are not worried and you're not fighting against uh, 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 all the, the, the enemy of your mind, but you are stable in your mind. You are balanced in your mind. You're able to stand and, and, and be able to be firm on what God told you. He said, finally, my brethren, ah, oh, glory to God. He said, be strong in the Lord uh, and in the power of his might. Put on, watch this, the whole armor of God, the whole armor of God. Uh, remember the other version says the precepts of God, the word of God, so that you may able to stand against the wiles or look at this, the strategies and the deceits of the devil. I want to decree and declare to you that this year there are going to be some strategic things that are going to happen. I want you to watch out for some things that's going to happen within Brexit. Some strategic things. I want you to watch out. There is going to be some things that's going to happen. Remember, in the year 2021, you got to understand that God is giving us um, what you call information uh, to understand what is about to take place that we don't get ourselves traumatized. He says, stand because there's going to be some schemes. There's going to be some things that the enemy is planning to do over your life. But I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you will not fall apart, but you will stand on the prophecies. You will stand on the word of God concerning your life. Somebody shout hallelujah. All right. I want to just say a couple of things. I want to give you what I call uh, um, uh, eight things I want you to remember. And I'll be finished with you. Eight things that I want you to uh literally remember in terms of being able to stand in 2021. Number one, write this down. M manage your emotions in 2021. Manage your emotions and reactions. Understand that we're in a cycle of life. Let me tell you, and things have to pass. The Bible always writes like this, and it came, it came, to pass. Nothing stays. Things come to pass. And I want to decree and declare whatever's going on in your life right now that is not, uh, uh, it is against the prophecy of your life, against the word of the Lord over your life, it is coming to pass. All right. The next thing I want you to be careful, I want you to be very conscious of the fact Treat your mistakes, because you will make them, and your failures as opportunity. And remember, I keep telling you, learn from them. Some things that are happening to you, as much as I hate some of the stuff I've been dealing with, I'm learning a whole lot. I'm learning a whole lot. You can read about things, and reading about things sometimes is one kind of thing. You know, that's just you, the theory. But the practical, God is bringing us through practical situations. So you got to learn from these things and see the opportunities that comes from certain circumstances. Number three, stay positive. 
Stay positive. See, because when you stay positive, you're putting yourself in the best position possible uh, uh, to not only make it through this bad time, but also to become a better person through the process. So I need you to stay positive. The Bible says, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So a man thinketh in his heart. Remember, your heart helps you to stand. So is he. Didn't say he saw a man thinking in his brain. He said he saw a man thinking in his heart. So is he. Number four, I got to get through this quickly. You have to be creative in the season. Get creative. There are times when you can't do much to change your situation, but you just have to deal with it. You're just going to have to deal with it. But there are other times when you can actively work to make a situation better. Creative. It is, uh, is needed in this season. I want people to think differently. I want you to sit at home and think, how can we make things better? What can I do to change Ruach City Church? What can I do to change my life? What can I do to change my household? What can I do to change my marriage? What can I do to change my family? How creative can I be? Come up with ideas. In fact, call a family meeting and ask the family, what can we do? Get them thinking this season. Number five. I want you to do this. Focus on what you can uh, focus on what you can control and not what you can't control. Because every time, oh, this is up there, and what have you. There are some things you can't control. It is, I know you don't like it, Minister Catherine, she always says it. It is what it is. It is what it is. And some stuff, you can't change it. No matter how you try, it's going to be. There's some people, they're going to be the same way. No matter what you do, you can't change it. Some solutions are beyond your control. And no matter what you do, you can't change a thing. You're setting yourself up for frustration. Yeah, people have been sent to frustrate you. And, and, and then you, you, you lose time, you lose energy. You're also getting into a place where if you're not careful, you start thinking negative things. So you got to be careful. All right, number seven. And I got one more after this. Realize you've come a long way. Tell, tell yourself, boy, I came a long way in 2020. Sometimes we get so focused on the road ahead, and that's not a problem, that we never look back of how far we came. Give yourself credit. Say, you know what? I'm doing okay. Pat yourself. You know, I've had to do that a couple of times. Because sometimes people can make you think, you know, you ain't done any good thing. And I'm, I'm about to come out with a documentary because I want people to know what I've done. Sometimes, you know, we, we let people tell our story. Tell our story. Do you know what story history is? It's his story. And a lot of time they're saying their story. I'm going to say my story. It's my story. It's his story. You got to say your story. And you got to tell people, uh, 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 um, you know, this is where I've come from. This is what God has done. Pat yourself on the shoulder and keep going on. Look how far God has taken you from. There's a song we used to sing, I don't feel no ways tired. Come too far from where I see. Come that on the boat, Shanda. I've started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. And I come to tell every demon, every soothsayer, every witch, that I don't care what they've done with your hair, whatever candle they've had with your name on it, I decree and declare in Jesus' name that you will go forward and you will stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Oh, I just felt my help just come over. Cool, Amanda. He can't do Shaya. He la la mansaya. Oh, Bashaya. He can't do la la bahaya. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I ain't playing this game with no devil. I'm here to tell. I want to drive out a demon right now that's telling you that you won't make it in 2021. You will make it. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, hallelujah. Give yourself credit for everything you've already done and everything you've accomplished. You've wrote some books. Thank God for the book. Say, look what I've done. Yeah, I did something this year. I did something in 2020. In spite of, I did something. In fact, make sure you do something. I don't care how small it is. And don't try and compete with someone. Just do something. And look back and say, yeah, I did it. I did it this season. Last but not least, this is most important. I want you to watch me. Come close to the television. Come close to the laptop. Come close to the phone. I want you to listen to me. I want you to do this because it's very important. We need to build up our community. Let me say that again. We need to build up our community. Having the right people 
around us is most important in this season. <laughs> you cannot do things by yourself, especially now times are tough. You're not a pain. Pick up the phone and tell someone you need help. Stop trying to act like you can do it on your own. Pick up the phone and say, I need help. Pick up the phone, tell Ruak City Church office, I need help. If they're not listening to you, call them again. Call them again and tell them, this is my church. My bishop told me that I should call. We need community. That's one of the things we're going to make sure that when you uh, get the email from us to join uh, these groups, these uh, online groups, I need you to connect, connect. You need community. You need community. Well, you know, I don't really, I'm an introvert. You're going to have to come out yourself this season because if you don't come out, situation's going to make you come out. I'm telling you. So you're going to have to work on your introvert uh, uh, till actions and, 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 and how you are. I'm, I'm not accusing you, but I'm trying to help you, okay? Um, it, it, it's, it's, we've got to make ourselves be available with people who are caring, honest, and available. And this is what I want you to do in 2021 stand stand up stand firm stand strong stand against anything that's a coming against your prophecy and stand still uh, and watch god do it because this is your year to stand may the lord bless you may the spirit of the lord encourage you i hope this message blessed you there's somebody who's watching me right now you you weren't able to stand in 2021 you went back don't worry some went back but the good thing about it you can always come forward you can always stand you know uh donna mcclurkin sang a song we fall down but we get up falling down is not the problem it's getting up is the problem you can stay down there but if you stay down there you won't get help but if you get up you can see more i want you to get up today if you're a backslider if you're a person who doesn't know does not know the lord as your personal savior I want to introduce you to Jesus. I want you to come to know him. It's in him that we live, we move and have our being. We wouldn't be able to survive if it wasn't for him. Right now, I'm gonna ask you to say a prayer with me. I want you to follow me. It's called a, a salvation prayer. Say, dear Lord, I come before you now. I am a sinner and I need you in my life. Your word says, if I confess my sins, you are faithful and just to forgive me of all my sins. I believe with all my heart that today I've given my life to you and now wash me from all my sins, cleanse me from all my wrongdoings and today I make a decision to serve you in Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. If you said that prayer and you meant it from your heart, if you said that prayer and meant it from your heart, I just want you to know that you're now a part of the family of God. Would you type your name? Said, I get, got saved. I gave my life. I, I'm come back to the Lord. Go on, type it, type it. Open confession is important, okay? And if you can't type it, tell somebody, you know what? I was watching Rack City Church online and I decided to give my life back to Christ. I heard the word of the Lord. Welcome to the family of God. Somebody clap, clap on, clap, clap, put a clap. And somebody give God praise for those that have given their life to Christ. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. We give him praise for the word of the Lord. I am so excited about what God is getting ready to do in this season. And um, at this time, uh, we're getting ready to worship the Lord with our giving. And um, they're going to show you a video how to give. And myself and Pastor Penny, Pastor Penny is going to come back. And um, we're going to talk to him. We're going to make a new decree for 2021. Uh, don't go away. Don't go away. Let me tell you why I don't want you to go away because there's still more to happen. Um, uh, and then those of you who knows afterwards is the deep dive and all that's going to happen. But just quickly come and um, uh, back to us. We're going to tell you how to give to support the ministry. And I'm going to give you some information about giving. Um, this is the, the uh, what we call the first uh, Sunday in the new year. And, and I'm going to just talk a little bit about first fruits um, so that people would understand what that's all about. You may have been in church and heard about it. But watch this video and um, get ready to give to God. Amen. God bless you.
We're about to participate in giving in our services today. And if you've been blessed and you'd like to join us also, you can do so. We know that God will bless you and he will favor you as you give. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. And we know that when we give to him, he gives back to us, pressed down, shaken together and running over. We want that blessing for you also. So if you would like to give today, follow the instruction video that you're about to see. How to give by bank transfer. If you would like to set up a standing order or make a direct payment to Ruach City Church for your tithes or offering, please use the following details. Account number 030-87240, sort code 309607. How to give online. Go to the Ruach City Church website and click the giving tab at the top of the page. Select your chosen offering type, for example, your tithes. All you need to do now is enter the amount. It's really simple. Follow the instructions on screen to complete the transaction. We hope you have a blessed day. Apparently, I, I got so excited, I'm told that I, yeah, you jumped I jumped I points. Okay, let me go through it again. The points, I apologize. It's a good thing we're live and good thing that we can hear your feedback. All right, here's the point number one. It manage your emotions and your reactions. Number two, uh, treat your mistakes or your failures as opportunity to learn. Did I give that right? Yeah. Number three, stay positive. Be around positive people. Number four, I think is why I forgot. Um, get creative. No, Did I that. say that one? Yeah. Okay, get creative. Number five, um, focus on what you can control and not what you can't control. Well, that's where it is. You went up to five to seven, but it's actually oh, okay. six. Oh, okay. That's why they thought they missed All right, point. I got wrong numbers it's here. It's just his typo. Yeah, my... It's actually seven points. Okay, it's seven points, okay. So manage so, your emotions and reactions. Right, okay. Um, treat Real... your mistakes as, and your failures as opportunities to learn. Yes. So stay positive. Yes. Get creative. Yes. Um, focus on what you can control, not on what you can't control. Come on, that's it. And then, so number six should be realize you've come a long way. Is that right? No. Yes, build. it is, because you jumped your numbers. Uh, realize you've come a long way. Oh, and yes, number yes, seven, yes. build up your community. Build up your community. So hopefully right. everyone got I that. am so sorry. I, 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 you know, I got so excited. Powerful word, Bishop. Was it? Yes. Praise the Lord. Powerful and, you know, it, it was a bit different having to do it like this, but, you know, to God be the glory. We, we're, we're on the winning side. So um, let me just say, we're going to worship the Lord with our giving. And, and I know some of you have already started, but today is first fruit. Um, let me explain. A lot of people try to understand what is first fruit. First fruit is different from tithing. Tithing is 10% that God blesses you with. The word first fruit means a promise to come. Yes. That's what it means, a promise to come. Um, remember in the book of Genesis, the Bible says that um, Cain and Abel, one brought the first limbs, remember? And yeah. the other one just brought, um, uh, Cain just brought to the Lord. And a lot of people think the reason why that was said is because he brought something of blood. It wasn't like that because giving was a according to what you possess. And if you possess um, uh, like fruits and ground, things off the ground, you would give according if you had animals, whatever. So there was different types of ways of giving. So he gave of his first, that was a first fruit, first fruit. First fruits, the Bible says, honor the Lord with thy, honor the Lord with the first fruits of thy increase. increase. It's in, in Proverbs, okay, that your barns will be filled. It's a promise to come. So when you do yeah. a first fruit, I'm just explaining because people have been asking me, what this first fruit's all about? And they see people come to, to the front of the church sometimes yeah. and give. First fruits is saying, Lord, I'm giving you the first of my wages. You just got a new job and you say, Lord, I'm going to give. Now, this is, this is not compulsory, so don't get all, yeah, on me. It's not compulsory. This is what you want to do. It's, it's a free will offering, the first fruit. I said, I'm going to give you the first of my wages of my new job. I'm going to give you the first uh, wages of the year. Whatever way God says, give me the first. That's not a tithe. A tithe is 10%. But the first fruit is you giving to God a portion and saying, God, I want you to bless this as a promise to come. Tithe is, uh, um, the Bible says, bring all the tithe in the storehouse. Let me meet in my house. And, you know, there's a lot of people criticizing about giving. And, you know, if you don't want to give, don't give. Because, you know, God loves a cheerful giver. He doesn't love a person that moans and groans and complains. Give because 
you have purpose, the Bible says, in your heart to give. And the Bible lets us know um, a giving from the biblical was agricultural in giving, and then it moved. And people in the New Testament church, they went as far as giving the whole of their property. Some of them sold their property and laid all the money at the apostles' feet, and the apostles distributed all the money, and everybody didn't lack anything. I'd love to get to the place where Rick has so much money. Can you imagine? I've, that's been my dream. It's been my dream. I said, Lord, I'd love to be in a place where we could just help people. I've always been a person of helping people. That's what I've been doing. When we bought our first building, we paid off all our building. There's a lot of churches in the UK don't tell you that I sent money from Ruach City Church to help them buy buildings. When people were buying their building, we sold, sold, we sold seeds. Yeah. Seed. That's why God's keeping us through the hard times because we are a soul. We are a giver. And, um, and there's a lot of people like to talk about, you know, the church ain't doing this. And some of the people who we have helped need to open up their mouth and testify. Ruach have helped you, help with funerals when we had to do, stepped in with situations. And, you know, I'm not having a go, but sometimes the negative, you know, so much negativity. Well, we're going to tell our story. We're going yet. to tell <laughs> our story this year of what we've been doing. And if you notice, that's what I'm doing now. I'm showing all the stuff what we're doing because, you know, they used to say, oh, watch them showing off what they're doing. But I found out you're doomed if you do and you're doomed if you don't. But so you know might what? might as well just tell you. Let me just tell you so now you will know. Thank you, Ruach City Church. Thank you. It yeah. is not our, It's not me alone. It's us. We have been we, doing And Ruach friends. Yes. Some of you are friends who are not even a part of our church. You know, this year we've had people who have sown thousands who are not even members of our church. May the Lord just bless you. Just hearts. burden their yeah. They just stirred and they were obedient to the Lord. Yeah. And we really pray God's blessing on all In of the name you of just Jesus. given throughout this last yes. year. And we just know that God is going to reward your giving. Amen. And he's going to give back so much. You know what they say, press down, shake Shaking it together, together run, and run running over. over. Amen. I just say, God, yeah, we've got room for more. Amen. We've got more room for more. Let's do decrees. We've got new decrees. Oh, yeah, we've got new decrees. All right. And it's going to come out this week on yes. the website. We'll put it okay. on the website. So much this is going to happen this week in the website. So um, get to it. I'm um, starting Monday about our prayer, 21 day prayer that starts tomorrow. But anyway, oh, yeah. decree. Let's oh, decree. Let the decrees first yes. and then we'll talk about it. Hallelujah. Fasting. Okay, so um, let's go. So obviously you haven't got this to refer to. So just shout amen, amen. wherever you hear a point that you think yes and, and that's me, so be it. All right, so according to God's word in Job 22, 28, the things we decree shall be established in Jesus' name. Amen. And we decree that, our, that 2020, 2021 yes. is our year to stand. Amen. Dream it with Ephesians 6, 11, we put on the whole armor of God Hallelujah. so that we will be able to stand against the schemes of the devil in Jesus' name. Amen. And we decree that in 2021, we will walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. We decree that when we hear bad news, we will stand firm, Hallelujah. remain steady, trust God, and stay focused on his word in Jesus' name. Amen. In 2021, we will be steadfast, immovable, Hallelujah. always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yes. We're standing on God's word as givers and tithers. Amen. So all financial curses are broken off our lives. Hallelujah. Therefore, we decree quick progress in our money, yes. business, health, job, property, education, and all that pertains to us yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. And we decree that in 2021, God builds a hedge of protection around oh, us yes. and our families in Jesus' name. Amen. And we decree that everything opposing our success will be completely destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. And in 2021, we will rejoice always, pray continually, yes. give thanks in all things in agreement with God's will in Christ Jesus. Amen. We decree that in 2021, we stand in the power and authority Hallelujah. of the name of Jesus. Amen. And we decree that we will have victory over all the schemes of the enemy, yes. principalities, yes. powers, yes. and the evil ru rulers of the unseen world. In 2021, yes. we will stand, stand. in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, well, why don't we say move out the way, devil? He's already out the way. We've Hallelujah. Out the way. 2021. We have, we're not moving him out of the way anymore. We have moved him out of the way. Yes. So we are standing. Standing Amen. this year. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, bless everyone that has given, Lord. We ask that you will open the windows of heaven and pour them out a blessing that they have not room to receive it. We ask blessings, Lord God, over, Lord, the first fruits. Lord, you will bless them, Lord. Give them a promise to come. And Lord, those that didn't have to give, Lord, let them not feel guilty or weary. But Lord, turn their situation around in 2021. Lord God, I pray that a supernatural breakthrough will come upon Rack City members and partners and yes, friends. Jesus. Lord God, let's see a move of your spirit in a way we've never seen it before. And we will promise to give you the glory. Yes. Take none for ourselves, for thine is the kingdom, power and the glory. 
forever and ever. Somebody type, amen, amen. 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 God amen. bless you. All right, we just want to remind you, tomorrow is? Yeah, so Monday the 4th of yes. January, we start our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Okay? Yes. So you need to go to our website. You're going to see all the information there. But we are starting tomorrow. So 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're fasting, okay? And then we are going to have congregational prayer online yes. on the Wednesdays and the Fridays of each week, all right? So if you go to the website, you'll see all that information, all yes. right? And please um, look at our guidelines, the fasting guidelines are on the website as well for those of you who already may have health challenges may have different situations with your health please we want you to do wisdom so we do have guidelines to help you with that but 6 a.m to 6 p.m from tomorrow we are fasting then you break your fast in the evening um, and you um eat and do what you need to do and then you start again in the morning also remember ruach 6 a.m Monday to Saturday, we are praying, all right? Yes. So um, we this is a month of prayer, basically, Hallelujah. but we are continuing with our 6 a.m. prayer. If you haven't um, dialed into the webinar yet, please contact the office or go on the website so you can get the details to dial into the 6 a.m. prayer. Anybody can come morning, to the 6 a.m. prayer. Anyone can come to can the 6 a.m. prayer. Just go on the website so you can and sign up so you can get those details. But we are in fasting and prayer. There will be prayer topics, so we are going to be united and corporate in our prayer at this time. Time. And also, you heard Bishop say that we will be opening our locations. So from 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. on one um, Wednesday or a Friday at each location, we'll have an opportunity for this just once during the prayer and fasting. Um, each location, we're going to be opening up from 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. on a Wednesday or a Friday for individual prayer. So and and, and there's in. no restrictions according to the law so far. Yeah, so you can come you out, can don't care come. what tear you in, you can come out and pray and social distancing and all those things yeah. need to be in place. And then you go back. Yeah, so oh. you are still allowed to. We've looked at the guidelines. We've talked to the round table. And you are still allowed to still come in for pre um, your place of worship. What they call it? Prayer. It's, it's individual prayer. Individual prayer, not so congregational. So it's not going to be a congregational service. But we will have prayers. We're going to set everything up. And we'll make sure everything's social distance. But if you just want to come on site and just have that time with God, we are giving you that opportunity to do that. But also remember, we'll still be having online prayer every Wednesday and Friday throughout the prayer and fasting of 21 days so all the information is on the website so please do go on the website if you're not sure call the office they'll be able to give you all that information um but we are going to be praying this month there's some stuff that we need to Hallelujah. deal with and we be, we know that god answers prayer we know that prayer changes things yeah, and everything. so we know as we come together um in this 21 days we're going to see um signs wonders miracles in jesus name amen Hallelujah. praise god amen. all right so listen stay with us remember one of the things i talked about community we really need to get more closer together i need you don't step away now this is the plan of the enemy uh that when you step away and too many people are stepping away and when they're in trouble they're trying to run back and sometimes it's too late that's the plan of the enemy stay together we need community in this season all right we're getting ready to um go through our announcements right now they're going to show all the announcements and we don't want you to move because straight after that the guys, uh, this wonderful women yeah. will be coming back for deep, deep dive, dive and they'll begin to sort of, you know, break down the conversation uh, of, yeah, of break to, down the message into conversation form. Yeah. Because I would be ready to say, uh, but oh no, I'm going to leave. I'm just going to wait. Well, it was just something that, was just, oh, it was awesome, Bishop. Thank you. I, I know you're going to pull apart the vestibular system, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, that, that was so much. <laughs> that I was touched me. I was like, yes. I, I was like, I was like, when I was, when I was studying it. We're not it. meant to do that. We have to okay, leave to the Okay, okay, okay. Because, all right. Then, if, and if, they're if, looking at me. If, that's yeah, the funny thing. If they chew it now, they will have They're like, all right, all right. We'll empty the plate and they'll be like, okay, right. So we need to All right. Let's Listen, continue. one more thing. Super Sunday tonight, 6 30. Yes. Throwback. You're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a powerful word. And uh, we'll be praying. And we're going to be praying for all of those. This is the rule 6 30. When you get on, you start telling us who to pray for your prayer request on Facebook and YouTube. Not now, that's 6 30. Yeah. And we will take the information down and we'll call all of those names. Do give us the information before the message. As please, soon as the message please. comes on, I can't keep looking and begin to pray. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We'll remind you again tonight. What time? 6.30. 6 Some of y'all don't come out to evening services. I don't know why. 
and you don't have to go far. You it's, have to go nowhere. Yeah, you just need to just turn on your television and turn on your Looking laptop. Your phone. <laughs> or put on your phone. Whatever All device. right. I love you. I don't know if you love me, but I love you. And I love, I love you, Bishop. what God has called us They've to do. They've been telling us they love us. Oh, the I love you too. Praise God. You love me? Of course I, I love you. I love you. Bishop. Praise the Lord. Just check it. Amen. <laughs> it's good to it's good to check. Amen. Can you uh, this pandemic you? can mess up a lot of people, you know. I know I'm telling you. All right, oh, let me just yes. say this right now. Um, may the Lord bless you. Bless you. Lord. May the Lord continue to keep us strong and stand firm on our feet. Be steadfast and unmovable. All right, wow. they're gonna show you the announcement. Don't go anywhere. Um, deep dive is coming straight afterwards. God bless you. Bye. Bless you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye every mother that's crying out for their children for them to come back home for them to be detoxed from addiction the addiction of lust of drugs of perversion of and the seduction of the trappings of this world the addiction father god that has now imprisoned them we have come to pray in the name of jesus listen with the time you have on the earth you have to do the will of god with the time left on the earth you must produce you must bring forth you are in the earth for such a time as this and you cannot delay any longer you must open your mouth you must declare what god has spoken. Join us and start your day off with a powerful time of prayer on Zoom every morning from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., Monday to Saturday. Head over to the Red City Church website and sign up after today's stream. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. As you can see, um, in our Kenoya Food Bank, we have a food bank in every location. I'm in Brixton location right now. And as you can see, the um, cupboards are getting a bit empty. And so it would be wonderful if you can help us contribute towards this. There are many people who are in need in this season and your contribution helps. Uh, your support is needed as there are people who are in need. And by the way, thank you for those who have been contributing. May the Lord bless you. If you'd like to donate some food to Koinonia or use its services, please contact us at admin at ruraccitychurch.org. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome, welcome. My God, what a word from Bishop. He preached. Bishop preached, didn't he? Today? Honestly, <laughs> the first Sunday, to be honest, the first Sunday of the year, I expected nothing less. But that word was so, so powerful. Yeah. I mean, everything. Stand. 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 Literally. This That's is the year to stand. We can't be moving. We can't be shaking. We yes. Got to stand. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. The comments were going wild. This and And one of the things and one of the reasons why we're here um, like Bishop said, is to create this community yeah. and to talk about the word. Because, you know, um, I remember when we were able to come into church and, you you, you know, after a service and you're, you're leaving, you're on your way out and, you know, everybody is kind of... You're talking really, to your sister. Yeah, you're yeah, talking to your sister, me. you're talking that to something. Every word like, for me. Yes. You know, every word's for me. <laughs> exactly. Every word, is, every word is for me. So please, 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 guys, continue to, to, to comment and um, continue to, to share um and i know bishop left here pastor Denny left here saying <laughs> yeah we love we love you all because we could see all the messages coming through yeah. um and this is this is how we keep the community going so which part of um the message really spoke to you today which part I, of the message? it's so hard because there was so much so in it there was so much depth in that word yeah. right 
But one of the key things that um, stuck out to me was when Bishop talked about how it's not just your feet that allows you to stand, but there is so much part of your body that enables yeah. you to stand, your brain, yes. your heart, everything yes. that's going on in you enables you to stand strong, right? Yes. So I was going deep into my thoughts as I, I normally do, because I was praying this morning actually about the Lord um, covering my senses this year. Like, I really want him just to wow. cover me, what I see, what I hear, what I allow to affect my soul. So when Bishop started talking, I was like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this word's for me. Um, because I just believe that uh, if, in order to stand this year, you've just got to make sure that it's just in line with God's will. Exactly. And those seven points that Bishop gave, wow. I don't, I don't even know where to start. To Should we see honest. what people yeah. are saying first? Yeah, let's though. see what's in the comments. You what guys were saying a lot in the, the, the comments um, in regards to this powerful, powerful word. Um, I think even for, for myself, one of the things that I really took um, away from, from the message was, you know, 2020, you know, it felt a little bit stuck. And he said, yeah. let's get unstuck in this season. You know, that was really, really powerful to me. Like, let's be creative. Oh, so whatever that. it is that you can do, you know, because even the problems yeah. that you've been built to solve, this is the season where we're standing, where you have to now start creatively thinking, what problems am I here to solve? What problems in my family, yeah. my job, my situation can be solved? So let's let's look at these comments because I know everybody was literally, you know, really, really going through um, and trying to get those yep. seven points as well. I've got Cheryl here that says, yep. I love the seven tips to stand in 2021. We love it too, Cheryl. We're going to go through a bit more, aren't we, in detail? Yep. But let us know what you think. Yep. Uh, how the message what did it mean to you just on the point that you was talking about about being creative i think sometimes in a like in a pandemic for example we think we can't do anything yeah. we're stuck as you said you know we're isolated we're restricted but it's quite the opposite that god's asking us to do we need yeah. to move forward we need to stand we need to be creative amen yeah. i've got um shirley who's saying on point ladies if the word was on point for her also um and i've got uh matthew here saying um the points on building community community is so important yeah. not just here but in our own communities as well really really important um realizing that you've come a long way i'm getting that in the comments as yeah. well that's from christine now i've got joy here saying the seven points to stand resonated with her really really resonated with her which is brilliant yeah i've got josephine who said for me was don't allow yourself to hear negative things that will bring fear in us that's so true. It's so yeah. important to know what you're listening to now in these days. Yeah. Even sometimes I've got to shut off from the news a bit, you know? It's a bit too much. Yeah, I think we've got to we've got a filter. You know, Bishop when Bishop first when he first started preaching, he was saying, you know, he was getting a lot of messages and things about conspiracy mm. theory and this, that, and the other. Sometimes, you know, those WhatsApp chain group <laughs> messages, you just gotta, you know, you gotta let them stop with you sometimes. Yeah. Um, and I think, on. yeah, that's something that I'll definitely uh, be adopting too. I've got um, Jojo has said that um, stand, um, meaning, um, you know, sustainable trust and aim, aiming for, you know, what God is delivering in 2021. That is, that is really, really good. Um, yeah. Have you got anything else there? And uh, Kel says, yes, the seven points were really encouraging. Yes, girl, it's encouraging to us all. Tasha says, God isolated us to elevate us. Amen. 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 I've got kingdom perspective here saying, um, I love the community point that Bishop gave, which was really good. Um, I've got um, Lorna here saying, may God continue to, to, oh, may God continue to bless you, Pastor Penny and Bishop um, on here as well. I've got Lily. Um, saying that this is not the time to fall, but this is the time to stand. Wow. wow! Yes, there's a lot of good stuff in here. It's good to good to know that you guys are listening. <laughs> you know, I got another one from Marita. I love this seven points, especially remembering that we have come a long way and building communities. We have to collaborate and work together to make mm -hmm. change and support each other. Mm -hmm. I love that collaboration. Yeah. yeah, that's a good word, right? Yeah, yeah. So we can't do everything on our own. This is it. This is it. We need to work together. 
Yeah, standing also, I, I think, means standing strong together as a community. I think yeah. that's one of the things that I also took away um, from this as well. Guys, you know what this does? This really um, also encourages you to take notes during the message. You know, um, this is a really great forum for us to speak. I've got Samantha here saying that the seven key points um, really, really helped. I've yeah. got a lot of people here summarizing the points as well, um, which is brilliant. One second point that Bishop mentioned, I like yeah. this one. Treat your mis uh, your, you, you'll make mistakes, right? Yeah. But we should treat our mistakes and failures as opportunities. Yes, yes. Learn from them. Yes. Because sometimes we get cut up about the things that we've done wrong and we kind of dwell on it too much. Yeah, yeah. But what he's saying is we will all make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we must learn from them and use it as an opportunity. Amen. So Amen. I love that one. I've got um, also a message here from Charmaine, which says that the message was on point, that we've come a long way um, and we are his story, um, you know, we are his story. And point number six, um, she said that we sometimes, you know, uh, we sometimes, oh, I've lost that message. I've got God Keeps as well. Sorry about that, guys. The message is coming in so, so fast. So, so thank you so much. I've got God Keeps saying, um, remember to believe in yourself um, yeah. and to pat yourself on the back as well. Brilliant, yeah. really brilliant. Um, you guys in the comments, you're really um, I doing think point a, a six here. was to realize you've come a long That's way it, yeah. in 2020. Tell your history. Yeah, tell your story. Yeah, tell yeah. your story. Tell your story. What Bishop you've accomplished. That. Yep. You know, yep. even a testimony of what God has done for you, because that will bless so many people. And also, yeah. it will encourage you in the hard times when we have to face it this year, yeah. that actually God brought me through that. So if he can bring me through that, he can bring me through this, right? Amen. So Amen. tell your story, guys. Amen. This is really good. I've, you know, um, I've got people here resonating and just saying, yeah, taking notes. Christina's saying that taking notes is, is really key, which is, which is amazing. Um, I've got Kaylee saying that, um, God is going to, to be my support system. Um, you know, this is a this is a really great great message forum here because yeah. we've got a lot here and it's coming in really fast. I've got Princess who says Ruak is a, is strong on community, um, and I was able to set up a Zoom meeting therefore um, through them and connect with my extended family on the New Year. Wow! wow. So so on New Year she was able to set up a Zoom um, meeting with her own family as. As a result of you know being part of this community Ruk was able to help her do that amazing that's great to hear princess thank you for sharing thank you for sharing this is on facebook um yeah. janet mcfarland says united we stand divided we fall yes that's so true Amen. tasha says no matter what we're going through we should stay positive and in this season we need to protect our ear and eye gates yeah yes. exactly what i was yes. thinking as well tasha Gloria yeah. says, uh, oh, she wants us to read the comments again. Maybe we could just... Yeah, no, of course, of course. Um, uh, Liana said, the seven point stands out for me. I take all of them because we come a long way um, and we must tell our story. Uh, excellent. Amen. So should we just run through? Yeah, we quickly? can definitely run through. I'm going to read a few comments. I mean, YouTube... You, you guys have been on fire today. I've got Minister Sharon um, saying that God is giving us um, spiritual sh um, shock absorbers. Oh, yeah. Wow. That you had to think about that one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, like <laughs> literally, yeah, she said it, and I think it's hit the nail yeah. on the head yeah. because with what Bishop is saying to stand with everything that's going to be coming, mm -hmm. he's not saying nothing's going to happen. He's saying stuff is going to happen, but we're going to stand as a result. Those seven points are really, really God's going to allow us to deal with everything that comes our exactly. way. Exactly, and he's given us spiritual shock absorbers. Yep. That's, a, that's a, 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 a good one. Thank you so much. Um, and then I've got um, Adelaide McKenzie here saying, um, telling our story is also uh, a theme point um, in in terms of our appraisals at work. She's saying that's what they do. And she said that um, and she has been looking at telling her story um, and also acknowledging that, which is really, really good. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. I think that's a principle of the Bible, though. If I remember correctly, the Israelites, every time they won a victory or something, mm -hmm. like they'll put, make an altar or something so yeah. that um, the, the, the generations after them will remember that they were victorious. Exactly. So we must tell so our story. I think even, you know, Bishop didn't use the word, but telling your story 
Isn't that part of your testimony? Yeah. So that's you testifying, really. You telling your story is you testifying. So that's a powerful thing, guys. This is a time for us to create this community, testify as well, you know, tell your story. Um, let me get back into the comments. I've got um, Samantha here saying that treat your mistakes or failures as an opportunity. That's what um, stuck out to her. Uh, Minister Sharon's just saying that, you know, the word was... So oh, many points. We could be here for a while, guys. <laughs> we could really be here for a while. I've got Rosalind here saying um, uh, positive uh, compliments um, go a long way from us um, and everyone. You know, don't cry yourself down. Um, do what matters, you know? Yeah. So encouraging each other, being part of that community is really, really good. Yeah, definitely yeah. we need to be helping and looking out for one another. 100%. We need each other, right? 100%. Wow. It has been an absolute pleasure to be here with you guys on the first Sunday of the year, of this month, January 2021. And the word was so powerful. Um, and I think what Bishop said at the end, you know, stand. Yeah. This is this is it really. This is what this word. I'm sure about. we're gonna hear more 100%. right over a couple of weeks, yeah. over the months. We're gonna hear more, but what was released today was so great, so powerful. So don't leave the conversation here, guys. Speak to your families, spread the word in your communities, post on your social medias, um, and remember um, the service is on again. You know, yeah, six thirty, six thirty this evening um, as well. And yeah, just stand up, stand strong, um, and do all the things that the seven point said meditate Amen. on that word <laughs> god bless you god all. bless you guys it's been a pleasure being here thank you we hope you've been blessed by our webcast today please be sure to visit our website www.newarkcitychurch.org to find out more about us don't forget to subscribe to our youtube facebook and instagram if you would like to help us as we help others through our ministry efforts and endeavors you can visit our giving page at www.realockcitychurch.org forward slash giving. We hope you can join us for our next webcast. Until then, it is our prayer that you stay safe and stay well. God bless you.